Good morning. Jerry Brinkman of BereanNation.com. This morning in my devotions I was reading in Judges chapter 13 and this is actually the chapter where we're introduced uh, at least conception wise to a fellow named Samson. We don't even know his name is going to be Samson yet but this is who it is. Verse 18 of that chapter the angel of the Lord is speaking to Samson's mother and she says, what's your name? And he says, why do you ask my name? Because my name is wonderful. The word wonderful would be better translated as wondrous. The word in Hebrew is pili or pali, uh, which can be translated wonderful, okay, but probably here has the meaning secret. Um, it's a derivation, the word itself, of the uh, another Hebrew word, pele, which means wondrous or hard to understand. And that in turn is a derivation of apla, uh, which is to separate or distinguish by implication to understand. Uh, he's not saying this is in a secret angel language and you won't be able to pronounce it. He is saying that my name is difficult to understand. One cannot infer from the text that angels have a secret language. Sorry guys, if you're really a Berean and you're a careful reader of the scripture, you will know this does not mean angels use different language when they're amongst themselves. In all of our encounters with angels in the scripture, they are always speaking the same language as who they are speaking to, meaning they are always using the tongues of men. Now, there's a verse in, I believe it's Revelation chapter 21, verse 7, where it says that the standards of angels are the standards of men. So, for all of you who think that tongues is a secret prayer language, you can't use this verse anymore as a proof text. Sorry. I'm Jerry Brinkman. You're on BereanNation.com, and you need to study the scriptures daily to see if these things are so.